Order those immediately. Aye, aye, sir. Telegram, sir. Please wire my acceptance, Lieutenant. But, Admiral, Count Garrell is suspected of being a spy. Exactly. That's why I'm going there. Perhaps I can trip him up. I see, sir. Here, take my uniforms down and have them pressed. And tell those dumb tailors not to burn holes in them this time. Aye, aye, sir. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this business. It was your bright idea. Join the Navy and see the world. No more smelly sweatshops. Beautiful girls in every port. Woo-woo, I got a good mind to punch you right in the nose. Yeah, we'd have still been all right if you hadn't blabbed off about us being tailors. Well, don't tailors sound like sailor? I got a good mind to bust this iron over your head. Hey, remember you had to pay for the last iron. Look! Look what you made me do to the captain's pants. Fix that hole. Hmm. You know, gasoline don't taste so good since Prohibition. What do you mean? Because they ain't so careful like when they use it for making gin. But it ain't bad. Here, taste it. Go on, scram and get to work. I... Hey, fellas, it's 12 o'clock. Come on, we got the afternoon off. Make way for a tail, girls. I'm going to get 18 blondes and 12 redheads. I'm going rolling in the park. Hey, clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press for the Admiral in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Clean and press in a hurry. Boy, where do you see the dames go for me? You should see that bearded lady in the circus. Is she a beaut when she gets a shave? When I get through rowing a boat, boy, I'm going to spend a hot weekend on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh. Now I'm going to change my socks. What an experience. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Uh, uh, I always want to see how you look with a permanent uh, wave. <laughs> Attention. Why aren't you men at work? Well, you see, Admiral, he and I were just standing. How do I look as an Admiral? Get him! Hey, you. Salute your superior officer. How dare you strike an officer? Slightly. How dare you? What do you mean, officer? Man, do your duty. Oh, wait a minute, don't you know this guy is? Don't you know this guy is? You know, I was thinking. Quiet. Uh, uh, uh. How dare you wear my uniform? I was taking it out for an errand. <laughs> it's full oh, of you food. were. I'll press them right away. Is there anything wrong, sir? Yeah, there's a guy. Everything's all right. I wish to talk to those men alone. Aye, aye, sir. You know, for five bucks a piece, I'll get you birds out. I'll bust your skull in five pieces. Get us out, you bubble brain. Say, God, put these men on rations of bread and water. I'll get you for this. On second thought, plain water. Oh, salt water. Hey, you. Oh, Admiral. Yes? All right, you win. You know, I was thinking, there's no sense in getting you guys out of here. You need a pass for the other gate. You chucklehead. Yours ain't the only officer's uniform in the tailor shop. You're right. God, release these men. 
What saw these men on here for kicking an officer? Oh, kicking an officer, right? Yes, sir. So you're kicking an officer, right? Oh, kicking an officer, ah! right? Ah! Ah! Attention! Right face! Forward march! <laughs> My dear Count Gerald, your admiral is late. Admiral Taylor and his staff. Let him now. That's not Admiral Taylor. Be careful, it may be a trap. Don't worry, I'll get the information if it's womanly possible. Admiral Taylor, I believe. How did you know I was a Taylor? Why, everyone knows the Taylors of Kentucky, one of the oldest families in America. Sure, everybody knows old Taylor, under proof. Won't you introduce your friends? Why, certainly, this is... Uh... Stand the button. Captain the presser. That's them. Miss Alga, may I present Admiral Taylor, Commander Button, and Captain Presser. Say, when do we eat? Oh! It's a nice hunk of goods there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Admiral. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to come and sit down? <laughs> Would I? Let's go over and find a dark corner. <laughs> it's the kid. <laughs> the Admiral threads a fast needle. He's an old soul, so. Oh, girls, did you see my tattoo? Uh, there. Care for a cigar? Uh, oh, allow me. Certainly, certainly. Won't you tell me about the Navy? Sure. You see, they feed you beans every day, except on Sunday. That's when you get bean soup. And beans. Oh, Admiral, you're such a sturdy old man. <laughs> and I'm your clinging vine. <laughs> Won't you tell me about your submarines? I don't know anything about submarines. I'm a tailor. I mean, uh... Oh, Admiral. Don't you trust me? <sighs> sure, but I don't trust myself. <laughs> you foolish boy. <laughs> Please, sir. Come on, Toots. Don't mind him. <laughs> Do you smell rubbish, Bernie? It smells like somebody's frying onions. <sighs> Get up! Get up! <laughs> Am I as heavy as all that? No, but I'm pointing up! Get up! <laughs> well, is that nice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean it. Honestly. Oh, please, give me another chance. Would you please? I didn't... Listen, honey, I didn't... Know. I didn't... Know. <laughs> Say, you're getting in my hair. <laughs> you want to get us in wrong before we eat? What's the matter with you? I think I got spring fever. Spring fever or hay fever? You got to get that off before anybody sees you. Get out there and I'll help. Oh, you ought to. Better show me. I tell you, I am Admiral Taylor. I beg your pardon. There must be some mistake. The Admiral has been here for quite some time. Uh, I thought this guy was a phony when I caught him snooping around outside the window. Now, just a minute, gentlemen. Those three imposters can identify me. They're enlisted men. Tell these men who I am. How should we know? We never saw you before in our lives. What? Just as I thought. Come on, Bozo, let's no, go. No, officer, come please. On. I... We'll be shot at sunrise for this. Maybe the sun won't come out tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> we got to find a place to hide. This plays right into our hands. How about that submarine, Admiral? Oh, is it big enough? A submarine? Why, well, certainly. That's perfect. That is, I mean, uh, <clears throat> what are we waiting for? Hmm. <clears throat> Calling all patrol boats. Calling all patrol boats. Submarine M9 has left port unauthorized. Last scene headed out to sea. Stop her. That is all. Hmm, see? I told you I couldn't get away with it. My government needs this submarine, and I'll either get it to them or stick in the attempt. But what about us? One move out of you and I'll kill you. If you do, I'll never talk to you again. Hold him back up! Oh. 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 
I had the wrong guy. You made a mistake. Yes, I did. Oh, yes. yes. I don't mean to hit you. Oh, you go like this. Hey, I'm going to come with you. Yes. You will. You all look at me. You can't get away with this. No one can travel with me. No one must be. Speak for yourself. Oh, a microscope. I can see. I can see. What? What do you see? Water. Why? What was that? A school of catfish just went by. Hey, bloodhound. Hey, bloodhound. Get to your Get to your post. What post? I don't see no post. I'll leave a street lamp. I'll put both your lamps out. <laughs> calling all battleships. Calling all Navy planes. Calling all bombers. Calling all naval craft. Submarine M9 stolen by enemy spies. Sink her at all cost. That is all. <laughs> that is all? Ain't that enough? We better get this thing back before they find us. Right. Man the wheels. What wheel? Any wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Submarine M9 was sighted just off the breakwater. Order batteries one and six to open fire at once. Yes, sir. and order my gig. I'm going aboard that sub. Yes, sir. Sir, we're no traitors. We captured those spies. We did it for you, sir. Oh, remarkable. You'll be rewarded for this. How did you do it? It was a cinch, Admiral. I took a piece of pipe and crowned him like this. Hey, step on it. Look who's coming. Wow. <laughs>
Kroll, Dr. Kroll. Yes, yes. Bad news, the police are unable to find any trace of Professor Tuttle. His disappearance has them completely baffled. That ruins our hopes of ever finding the tomb of King Rutan Tutan. Professor Tuttle is the only man alive who knows its exact location. First, Professor Dalton dies mysteriously, and then Tuttle disappears. Something terrible happens to anyone who tries to explore that tomb. I'm telling you, it is the curse of Rutan Tutan. But unless we secure the mummy of King Rutan Tutan, our entire collection is worthless. We must find Tuttle. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I sent for the three best investigators in the city. And they are our last hope. Come in. At your service night and day, if we don't get them, you don't pay. Excelsior! To the hunt! Where's Professor Tuttle? He's been kidnapped. That's why we sent for you. Kidnapped, eh? What's the old bird look like? Here is a picture of Professor Tuttle. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Gentlemen, you must find him. I got an idea. What is it? We'll start in the basement. To the basement. To the basement. To the basement. To the basement. This must be the basement. Excuse us for putting in, mister, but we're looking for a kidnapped professor. We're detectives. Detectives, eh? And you're looking for a kidnapped professor. Well, well. Hey, look, fellas, I've got to carry this out. Will you give me a hand? Sure, you might do us a favor someday. I'll take that end. I'll take this end. I'll take the end in the middle. I'll open the door. Up she goes, boys. Oh, boy. Take it easy. Up, there she goes. Hey, okay. you all right? Easy, easy. easy. Oh. oh! You take it easy or I won't let you carry it at all. Have you seen Professor Tuttle? Certainly not. Have you? No. Have you? No. That means we'll never find the missing king. How'd you know the king was missing? I... Oh, so you're the one, eh? That's how you won my 13 cents. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Who came in? You don't understand. The missing king is Rutan Tutan III of Egypt. Oh, missing persons are right up our alley. When was he last seen? About uh, 2,000 years, come Michaelmas Day. Huh, a mere bag of tell. Give us 2,000 years and we'll bring him back alive. Come any day. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to accept their offer. Nobody in his right mind would undertake that expedition. It's almost certain death. Let's hire them before they find out about the curse of King Rutan Tutan. Done. And if the curse does strike them, it will be a blessing to humanity. Gentlemen, you're hired. We're sending you to bring back the mummy of King Rutan Tutan. You leave immediately for Cairo. Say, I got an uncle in Cairo. He's a chiropractor. No, 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 no. <laughs> and if you are successful, we will pay you $5,000. The recovery of the mummy will prove of untold value to science. For science. For science. For 5,000 bucks. We want science. We science. We want science. We want science. Taxi. 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 Where to? Egypt. Right. Huh? Hey, driver, stop here. Yeah, hold on, will you? Hold on here a minute now. Well, let's get off here. Yeah, they might be here now. Right. Weigh the anchor. Forty pounds. Out we go. Ah. You have been listening to Ali Ben Woodman and his swinging Bedouins. Do you need money? Borrow on your camel or elephant. No red tape, no cosigners. Everywhere we go, commercial announcements. Shut that thing off. Where's the map? I must have lost it. Now we'll have to travel by compass. I wonder are we near the place. Well, being there's no other place around the place, I reckon this must be the place, I reckon. <laughs> If we don't come to a filling station pretty soon, I'm gonna die of thirst. Me too. My throat feels like a bale of hay. Hey, hey! I think I'll reconnoiter. I think I'll get my hat. We're coming to a jungle. I can see the tangled underbrush. And camels walking through it. No, no, they're octopus. Oh. 
I can't see anything. You will. Oh! Look! A signpost! Come on! <laughs> oh, boy, we're nearly in Cairo. The tomb ought to be around here someplace. I'd rather go to Tunis. Then we can have tuna sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> Look! Water! Real, pure, salty water! It's the ocean! Ocean nothing. That's a mirage. Marriage is something you see yourself in. That's a mirage. Mirage? That's where you keep your automobile. I said a mirage. Mirage, marriage, whatever it is, I'm going swimming. Something you think I'm crazy? Come on, try it. The last one in is an old man. Come on. Ready, set, go. Whoa. I wonder where we are. Maybe we're in the subway. This is the tomb of the mighty king, Rootin Tootin. How do you know? I didn't say anything. Neither did I. Infidels, prepare to die. But you're ex-wanted. Now, wait a minute. Let me get out of here. No, let me get out of here. Listen, fellas, wait a minute. Listen, I gotta get out. No. I gotta get out. We'll look around the joint. Take a grip on yourself. Turn me loose. I want to be free. Now, come on. We'll look around there. I wonder where that knife came from. Wise guy, you lead the way. But listen, I'm... Go on. I'll go when I'm ready. Are you ready? Follow me. Gee, it's spooky in here. I'm glad you guys are behind me. There should be a door here. That's what you think. Well, there's my orders, and when I get to them, <laughs> Mommies! 
Oh, you did, eh? Ah! Oh! Come on down, Apple. Take it easy, take it easy! Oh. Hey, fellas, listen. Did you ever hear a mummy talking? Well, I did. Now he's talking to mummies. Don't you believe me? He's right over there. Come on. Hmm. Talking to a mummy. What does he think I am, an imbecile? What's the idea of pushing? You pulled me through. What happened? Hey, look, there's Root and Tootin. <laughs> the place is full of Root and Tootins. Hey, he's the real McCoy. McCoy, I thought his name was Root and Tootin. Hey, fellas, I found it. I found it. You found what? A tisket, a tasket, that green and yellow fasket. No, no, no. <laughs> What's the idea of going swimming again? Come on, we can't stay in this tomb all day. We gotta get the king out of here. Come on. Hmm, that well is dangerous. Hmm. Grab a hold of that mummy and be careful. It's worth $5,000. You and I will try to find that door. Pals here is a chance to get the mummy. Well, you better start to talk before I count three. Where is that mummy? One, two... Wait, wait. It's in there. I don't know where the door is. All right, tear down the wall. And you better be telling the truth. Because if that mummy isn't in there intact, it'll be the finish for you and those three goofs. Get it? If they find out we killed the mummy, they'll kill us. What'll we do? I got an idea. We'll make a mummy out of you. I can't be a mummy. I'm a daddy. All right, so you'll be a daddy mummy. Oh, that's different. Hurry up, get those bandages. Yeah, good thing I'm an old tailor. Go, get your arm down. Shh, here they come. Don't even take a breath. Well, fancy seeing you here. Ah, uh, so you guys are in there, eh? Where's Rupert Tootin? Over there, and he's as good as new. Boy, was he homely. Awful. Say, where are those jewels are supposed to be buried with them? Oh, they always wrap them up inside the mummy. We'll have to cut him open. Let me have that sharp knife you got there. He's burst open. Yanks won World Series. Can you beat that? Yeah, and I won five bucks. No kidding. I had the Cubs and... What? Hijackers, eh? After a while. They're gone, Professor. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, but what about King Rootin' Tootin' and the 5,000? He blew away. That wasn't King Rootin' Tootin'. That was his wife, Queen Hotsy Totsy. This is Rootin' Tootin'. He was a midget. A midget? And all this trouble over a shrimp like that? What a small world! Oh, oh boy, boy, a midget. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, fellas, look! A mummy alligator! I'm gonna take him home! Oh, boy, would you look good on my wall? How am I gonna get you up here? Oh, a rope! No, 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 no. <laughs> What's the matter? He bit me! Ah, uh, he 
couldn't bite. Taxi! Taxi! Mine ain't exactly wagging the tails with joy. If we don't find a job... I'm so hungry I could eat a skunk. Raw! Look! A banquet. What are we waiting for? Hey! 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 Oh, that's right. Hey, Larry! Quick! Pass it! Larry, pass it! I got it! What'd you throw it so high for? Now you wrecked it! You know I can't... <laughs> What's the idea of dropping a thing with... No! <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> they stole my melon! Canvas back duck club. Salesman wanted. Are you guys salesmen? That's fine. Come on, we got a job. Your troubles are over. Here we are. We are the best salesmen that ever sailed. Got a piece of bacon in your pocket? Why? You keep me busy, I'll get some eggs for breakfast. You try that and I'll crack your head like an eggshell. Come on. You men ever sold anything? Why, save me. Anything we could lay our hands on. The gentleman said sold, not stole. Oh, I misunderstood him. Pardon me. Well, what do we sell? Memberships in the Canvasback Duck Club. Canvasback? When I was a fighter, that's what they called me. I was on the canvas so much. I used to stand like that. Not for long. And then my footwork and the rosin in my hey, eyes. Canvas. See that? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen. Listen to me. With this proposition, you can't go wrong. Remember this, boys. Every red-blooded man is a potential hunter at heart. Why, there's one in every office. That's right, boys. All you have to do is appeal to the primitive in them, and you can't go wrong. And for every membership you sell, you get 10% of $50. Think of it, 10%. Think of it, 10%. Oh, boy, $3. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're on your way to success. We're glad to have you with us. And you, too. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And you, good luck. Start selling. Who are we going to sell to? Every red brother he man is a potentate hunter. There's one in every office. That's right. I'll go this way. I'll go that way. I'll go that way. Uh, <laughs> Spread out, remember. Ducks is ducks and cash is king. And never the twain shall meet. Go on, start selling like I told you. No take no for an answer. No, sir. Oh. Look out, look out. You want a duck? Okay. Look out, now, don't do that. Don't do that. Ducks, ducks. Who wants to buy some ducks? Is your blood red? Are you a potent hunter? All you need is a prime appeal. What about a duck? There's one in every office. Hey, remember me? Your face looks familiar, but I don't know where to put it. Yeah. I'm your boss. What a coincidence. I knew I saw you someplace before. <laughs> is that a proposition or is that a proposition? You can't go wrong, pal. I don't want any ducks. But listen, buddy. 
No ducks. Hmm, no ducks. No ducks. Can't we appeal the equipment? Only 50 bucks, miss. It's a chance of a lifetime. I don't eat ducks. I'm a vegetarian. Well, eat the vegetables, see? And leave the duck. Come on. Oh! Calling all duck hunters! Calling all duck hunters! Duck hunters this way! Duck hunters this way! Calling all duck hunters! Calling all duck hunters this way! Hey, it's me! Calling all duck hunters! Calling all duck hunters! A customer. What do you say, brother? The chance of a lifetime. Want to buy a wild duck? If not, why not? No, I don't want to buy any ducks. Hey, you guys, come here! Oh! You muscle-bound porcupine, you would throw a pass and let a cop intercept it with his head? Right up. I didn't say nothing. Well, that's for what you were thinking. My mind's a blank. You. Switch around it. Come on. Hi, officer. We can't Yes, this is the chief of police. No, I don't want to be disturbed by anyone except the mayor. When he comes, show him in. Thanks. What is this? The chance of a lifetime. You're about to join a duck club. Not today. I'm busy. Get out. Get out. Now, listen, fella. Relax. Imagine it's dawn. You're waiting for the sunrise on the lake. A duck is calling his mate from the Thule's. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Now they leave the water. Quick, get down. Get down. They're coming closer. I can hear the rustling wings. They're coming within range. Big, fat ones. Now they're circling overhead. They're setting their wings to land. They're coming down. Get your gun ready. Yes. They're right in front of you. Aim at the leader. Okay. Fire! <laughs> oh, the mayor. The mayor? The mayor, boys. <laughs> well... I still can't figure how those three saps sold those memberships so fast. Who cares? You heard them say on the phone they sold them and they're on the way here with the dough. Yeah, and the minute we get the dough, we're gonna scram town. Right. The cops, the wives to us. We did it! We did it! Hey, Chief, where are you? Say, boss, we sold all the memberships. Here's the dough. All in the same place, too. That's great. Who'd you sell them to? The police department. Uh, we even sold one to the chief. And the mayor. We're gonna see the governor tonight. The governor? <laughs> We're going up to the club with the chief and the mayor. They're outside now waiting for us. Like to meet them? No, no, we're too busy. We'll meet them up at the club in the morning. Okay, give us our commission. We'll get out of here. Well, we're kind of short of cash. We'll bring your commission to the club. Not that we don't trust you, but could you give us an IOU? Oh, sure, we'll give you an IOU. There we are. IOU 10%. Now sign right here. Thanks. Hey, you're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Oh, a wise guy, eh? Give me back my pencil. Hmm. Now we're off to the hunt. 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 We'd better get the limit. Well, if we don't, our money will be refunded. Correct, Chief. Absolutely correct. Uh, hmm, must be another customer. I think it's Blackie and Doyle. Maybe they got our money. Oh, Paul Revere. Uh, just passing. Thought the old club was haunted. Nobody been around here in goodness knows when. Fine, that should make the duck hunting better. Duck hunting? Why, man, there ain't been a wild duck around here in years. Wild ducks, duck hunting. <laughs> well, there better be ducks, so or you guys will get 20 years. Oh, uh, don't mind that old bird. He's cuckoo, Chief. Sure, we'll go right out, Chief, and make sure there's plenty of ducks. Yeah. Hey, 
And don't try any funny stuff, because you can't get away from the police department. Certainly, old cheapy old kid, old chief old kid. We'll be back in a quack with a quack. And I do mean quack. Look out! This is a fine mess. What we gotta do is get some ducks. I got it. Go get me some duck eggs. I'll sit on them and hatch them. We can't wait that long. Go on out and rustle up some ducks and hurry up. Hurry up! <laughs> Listen, Porcupine, I got an idea. Get these decoys. You got to tell me that loud and I'm not easy. I got it. Oh, shh. All right, wise guy, you said there was ducks. Where are they? Now, don't get excited, Chiefy. You get ready to shoot. I'll call them. <laughs> Ducks. You better watch for him. I got him! I got him! What do you mean you got him? Well, I certainly... Oh, <laughs> no, you got him there. Working all right. Now if that pudding head will only find some ducks. We can't hold out much longer. This is the last one. Quit stalling. Let it go. Oh! Remind me to kill you later. Here, blow up one of these rubber decoys. You ought to tear your esophagus out. <laughs> Quiet. What is this, a gag? It better not be. They're hep to us, and that nitwit had it to sight us. We better sway him. Come on. Cut out that quacking. That ain't me. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I figured if he could pipe rats pie-eyed, then I could pipe duck sober. Look! Millions of them! Let them have it! Say, why can't we get our share of ducks? Certainly, that's a good idea. Come on! Let's go. Why don't you put a shell out? What's the matter? Why you? Why you wanna wait a minute? I'll fix it. What's the idea of doing that? I made another hole so the water can go out. I'll see the shooting off. What do you mean that's the way I always do? <laughs> what are you doing in swimming? Where are you? Come on, and then you're scared of the ducks. Come on up there. Oh, look out! What's the matter? Hey!
almost got him, didn't I? Look! Hey, why don't you watch where you're shooting? <laughs> There they are, Sam. <laughs> Chief, was that hunting or not? I'll say it was. Those guys are all right. You hear that? Come on. Hey, keep it, keep it. How'd you like it, eh? It's delay, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. Those ducks will cost you five dollars each. What? what do you mean? Well, they're my prize ducks. Those duck thieves stole them from oh, me. No. What? 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 Give you a flat tire. Go on, get busy. Speed them up for you. Three sick heifers. Well, we're doing our best. Ah, you'll have to do better. Or I'll put you back to work in the kitchen. Get it? Yes, yes sir. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Don't let him talk to you like that, girls. Why don't you quit? We can't quit. Father's indebted to him, and if we don't work it out, he'll put Father in jail. No, no, don't let that get you down. Certainly, we still love you. Mm. As soon as you make enough money to pay off the debt, we'll get you out of this joint. Come on, break it up. Get busy. Okay, boy. Uh -huh. There you. Hmm. He can't talk to us like that, the big bully. 
I don't care if he is the boss. He can't bluff me. One of these days, I'll just break... Here, hold this. I'll just break him in two in pieces. That's what I... Yeah. Now, one more crack out of you, and I'll break you in two. Come on, get busy. You two. One beer. One beer. Coming up. 42, 53, 35. Hike. Hiya, Bill. Another. Draw one. Draw one. Hike. On the way. Oh, oh gee, Mo. I'm so I know, I know. Don't worry about it, kid. It was only an accident. Nice. That was no accident. Who'd you think I was, a customer? Come on, get out. Hi, right, boss. Hi. Right. You knock off that bank? Did I? I got 40 grand. Good. Now listen. <laughs> A drink is that? That's my own brand, the Western Surprise. There's no liquor in that. That's a surprise. You just tried it again. That was that. You mix that man a lay me low. Hurry up. You get it? Yeah, I get it. All right, take that dope a little leg and bury it later. In the meantime, act like nothing happened. Go to the bar and buy yourself a drink. Right. One straight. One straight. One straight. One straight. Receive. A twenty-dollar gold piece. Where'd you get that, partner? Why, oh, just dug it up. Thought it was a quarter. Dug it up. He must have found a gold mine. Charge it. If a dumb guy like that can dig up gold, so can we. Come on. Ooh, we're gonna be gold diggers. Gosh, we'll be rich overnight. Yeah, then we can pay the girls' debts and marry them. Oh boy, I can see it now. Me coming home from a hard day's work, I whistle for the dog, and my wife comes out. Me, with my own wife and children. Dozens of them. Dozens of them? Yeah. How many is that? Two. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you did? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Grab them. Stuff ought to be safe here, all right. Yeah, we can remember where we buried it by this stump here. What's the matter? I lost a gold filling out of my tube. We ain't got time to look for it now. Let's get back to town before we're missed. Come on. This looks like a pretty good place to camp for the night. Yeah, I'll chop some wood and get a fire going. I'll cook the supper. How about some scrambled eggs smothered in steak? Sounds swell to me. Where's the eggs? On top of the burrow so they'll be nice and fresh in the sun. Yeah, we... Get going before we starve here. Come on. Hmm, <laughs> fresh hen fruit. Handled with care. Sack of flour coming down. Oh. You're putting head now, you broke the eggs. So what? We'll have steaks mother than lamb chops. And maybe chicken on the side. <laughs> well, you fix it. I got some prospecting to do. Hand me down that dynamite and be careful. I'll get as if it were eggs. I mean, I'll be careful.
Oh, you, eh? See how you like it. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Stop now, cut it out. That was dynamite. No, quit, Yorick. Run for your life, it's dynamite. No. We gotta get some water quick. We gotta put it out before it explodes. No. Where's the bucket? Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Get out of here. Look, the dynamite's gone. Your egg must have eaten it. <laughs> Do you hear what I hear? He must have swallowed it all right. I can hear it sizzling. <laughs> Quick, the water. Jackass, drink it or you'll blow up. I got an idea. I'll hold his mouth open, you pour it in. Go ahead. I'll take that aim. Easy, Yorick. Easy. Take it, Yorick. Oh! I'll murder you. I'll murder you. Look out, look out, look out. What happened? Nothing yet. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Poor Yorick. Gone with the wind. <laughs> it's all your fault. If you hadn't thrown the rock, I wouldn't have thrown the dynamite. We'd still have poor Yorick. You know, I had a dream last night. Yorick told me he liked me. And any time anybody likes me, something always happens. You're right. Oh! 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 Oh, look. A gold nugget shaped like a tooth. Oh, boy. Salad gold. And 14 carrots. Carrots? That don't look like a vegetable to me. I'll give you a cauliflower ear. Oh! Come on, get busy. You go get the tool. Okay. Come on, put in head. Stop digging. <laughs> Go get a screen and don't drop it. Get out. Yeah. Oh! What's the matter? Nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What are you, got an iron plate in your head? Give me that pick. Papers, you sap them as bonds. Bonds? Who ever heard of getting bonds out of the ground? Why not? Them as gold bonds. Gee, ain't nature wonderful? Come on, we gotta get back to town and stake our claim. Let's go. Let's go. We can't stay here all day. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, darling, sweetheart. <laughs> Look, we did it. We're rich. You go change your clothes, we'll pay off your father's debt. Then we'll get married. We got work to do. Hey, what's going on in here? I told you we'd make good. We dug up 40,000 bucks. All right, so you dug up stocks and bonds, too, eh? Who's lightning? Stay back from that table, you crooks. That's our dough. Oh, that's boy! What did you do? <laughs> hey, keep your weight on that. Come on. downstairs.
You won't have to pick a cigar store horse. Come on, hurry up, get out of here, Pete. Come on. Hey, look, there they go. on horseback. I think I'm shot. Come on, stop bothering. Hold on, we're going around the car. money was stolen from the First National Bank. And all the time I thought we had a bonanza. Yes, we have no bonanzas. Here, 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 here. <laughs> well, we got plenty of breaks. <laughs> say something, kids, say something. Bonanza! Ammunition arrived? Yeah, it's safely stored in the hills. Are you ready to lead us against President Roby? Sure. I can close up the hotel anytime now. The only guests left are three American salesmen. I'm going to ask them to pay up and get out. Hey, here's a couple of live wire prospects. This one won't be interested. I think he's dead. Get these things unpacked. Now, if you guys unpack them, I'll put the high pressure on them. Pardon me, stranger, but we represent the King Winter Outfitting Company of Ticonderoga, New York. Manufacturers of imported wearing apparel. And just to prove our clothes are fresh, you can still smell the ocean. Believe it or not. What do you mean, believe it or not? I got an idea. Well, it better be a good one. Now, oh, Kyle, we got a lot of stuff here that nobody's seen yet. Now, here's something very chic in a kimono. Now, here's a little article you can't do without in this part of the country. What is that? Watch. <laughs> So what? My latest invention, the shock absorber for earthquakes. And the trading value on this is twice as much as... Listen, that guy ain't gonna buy anything. What are we gonna do? If the boss don't send us some dough, we'll be stranded. What's that? I, uh, I was just telling my pal here, this is lovely country and I'm glad we landed. How are you, Mr. Singapore? Look, the cold weather's setting in and I've decided to close the hotel for the winter. Your bill. Hey, come here, yo. Who had that last beer? Not me. I had that one with all the foam. Well, I had this one. I had that one. That was seven dollars drinks. I'm, 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 I'm not going to charge me. Wait a minute. Hey, will you please pay that bill and get out? Well, I'll tell you. You see, we were expecting a cablegram from the front office. Oh, I forgot. Your message came this morning. Oh, thanks. <laughs> kind of waiting for it.
Oh, they sent you the money, eh? Well, not exactly. You see, this wire's a little, uh... Hey, what was that? What's that? They're executing some guy that didn't pay his debts. It's a law in this country. Well, he deserves it. Now, that last round reminded me I've got some money in the top drawer of my dresser. What do you say we go get it? <clears throat> All of us. Okay. Come on. The door's in the top drawer of the dresser and the jewel box under the handkerchief. You wait here, I'll get it. I'll help him. I'll help him. Oh, no, you don't. You wait here. I'll go in and get it. What kind of a fool do you take me for? Why, is there more than one kind? Just as you say. That's all it is. Have you got a peddler's license? Peddler's license? Certainly not. We're salesmen, super salesmen. Oh, salesmen, eh? How do I know you're not spies? Spies? <laughs> Excuse me, General. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you harm a feather in his bed. I mean head. We're not spies. Don't be silly. We're selling earthquake shock absorbers and doing rather well, too. Look. Well, you'll have to come along with me for questioning the general casino. But we don't play casino. How about little Rummy? Ah, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Hey, keep an eye on those samples, will you? Spies, huh? Oh, no, he's a crime! But, General, the fed one does not look like a spy. He looks very innocent. Oh, I don't know. I've been around. Oh, oh, oh. Do you really think they're innocent? Oh, I am sure, my General. Well, you may go free, gentlemen. Oh, oh thanks, thanks, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, I told you to bring us luck. <laughs> Why don't you search him, General? Wait! That's a good idea. Search him! Don't forget, anything you find is 50-50. Oh! Here's a message, General. No passage money until you get rid of present wardrobe. So! Get rid of present wardrobe, eh? So then you are spies. Throw them in the dungeon and shoot them at sunrise. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Get him in a trap. Get him. So that buzzer did bring us luck, eh? Hey, come on. Hey, you got to shoot one. Oh, look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, oh. What? This is all your fault. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fine last supper. This is the hardest bread I ever saw. Listen. Hey, putting head, what are you doing? I'm trying to make the alarm work. What for? We're going to be shot at sunrise, and I want to make sure we don't oversleep. <laughs> yeah, it's working now, all right. Hey, it's Rita. Oh, boy, Rita. I have brought you something good to eat. Oh, food. Mm -hmm. What is it, Rita? Pie. Oh, pie. My favorite. Bread. Bread. Chicken. Oh, stuffed chicken. Oh. And soup. Oh, sweetheart, you're wonderful. Oh. oh, boy, soup. Soup, we ain't got time for that. We want to get to the solid food. Let's give it to the guard. He's a nice guy. That's a good idea. Your have almost got a brain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, you like soup? No, no, I like soap. I didn't say soap. You love soup. 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 Oh, sure. Well, take it. Thank you. Take it, Ramos. Let me get that food. Hey, where's your manners?
What note? This will help you to escape. Meet me behind the jail. I have work for you to do. Rita, come on, bring the saws. Come on. Hey! Shh. Quiet. You want the guard to hear you? Listen. That gives me an idea. Give me a blade. Ready? Shake, the biggest one yet. Hey, do you fellas feel a draft? Why, certainly. It's from that hole in the wall over there. Oh. Come on, get busy. Boys. Come on. Be right with you, toots. We'll be finished in a minute. Don't go away. Come on, you dummy. stand to have anybody look over my shoulder. Oh. Look. Is this it? Ah, yes. This is the map of President Roby's palace. You must take this to our leader, and he will see that you are rewarded. Good. Now we can get the money and go home. I ain't so sure I want to go home now. <laughs> Quiet, you dumbbell. Where does your leader live? His camp is in the hills. What are we waiting for? Come on. from Senorita Rita. And that ain't double talk either. Right! Right! Come on. right. right. I can't understand the delay. We can't attack without that map. Messengers from Rita. We'll bring them in. Yeah, all right, come on. Now, my friend, we'll have some action. <laughs> <laughs> you! Take him out and have him shot. Oh, wait. Now, wait a minute, Joe. We got a message here from Rita. Ah, well, the map. Well, that's different. Come, my friends, eat, drink, and be merry. Oh. Where's Mary? Sit down. At last, success is ours. Idiots! Blunders! Take a look at that. Take them out and have them shot. Oh, no, wait, please, wait. Explain wait, the whole thing. Wait. The boys made a mistake. I had the real map. Rita, that's fine. It's a good thing I found the right map. Won't you sit down and pick a bone with us? <laughs> oh, say, what's the idea? I bet he wouldn't do that. Would you? Sure. Oh, he did. <laughs> That's it, all right. Rita, you're wonderful. But
But you guys die at sunrise. Oh, but you cannot shoot my friends. They did their best. You should reward them. All right. I'll give them commissions in the army. <laughs> commissions? Not me. Straight salary or nothing. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know I'm temperamental. Yeah, 95% temper, 5% mental. And how? Huh? Here you are, gentlemen. Take these warrants to General Legrandi. He'll take care of you in a large manner. Oh, thank you. Show them the way. Oh. Gonna make you a general. <laughs> I always wanted to be in the army. It's such steady work. Relax. Hold him, Larry. Hold him. Oh. Oh. Get gone. Mm -hmm. General, our commission. Yeah, we signed contract with six months options. Very well, gentlemen. We will take care of this at once. Follow me. Hello. Hello. Hello, though. I hope they give me a double-breasted suit. I'd look much thinner. Come on. Hmm, woodpeckers. Uh, now, gentlemen, stand against the wall, if you please. I wonder what's the big idea. Maybe they're going to pin a medal on us. I know. Maybe they're going to take our picture for identification. I'm going to send one home to Elaine. <laughs> Attention. Some class. They're going to fire a salute in our honor. That's well. Say, we want 21 guns. Three will be sufficient, gentlemen. What does he mean? My friends, have you said your prayers? Yeah, last night I... Good. Ready. Next on my ammunition. Hurry up, they're shooting at us. Give them more gas. I got my foot down the floorboard now. Child, hey, I'm gonna start a forest fire. My poor little garçon. Oh, calm yourself, Mrs. Bedford. He's in the hands of the world's greatest specialist. They'll pull him through. I hope so. To the operation. The operation. To the operation. Hey, what do you think you're 
good doing. This is Monday, eh? Yeah. Come on, get busy. We got operating to do. in a thousand years. I'm glad you understand me. Yeah. Give me that! Oh, please! <laughs> That'll teach you a lesson. Serious, Dr. Curley? Yes, indeed, to say the least, if not less. Hmm. The perambulation of the pedal extremity is impeded by the insertion of a foreign botanical offshoot. Now, gentlemen, we must proceed with caution. This Bedford dog is worth a fortune. So it is. The instruments. The instruments. 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 shall go down in history. Yeah. I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't. She did. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Looks like a botanical offshoot in the upholstery. We'll have to operate. Oh, no, a thousand times no. Get the anesthetic. Get the anesthetic. The anesthetic. Oh. Administer the anesthetic. Oh. 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 was a complete success. That's wonderful. Now I can show Garçon in the dog show tomorrow. Come, Garçon. No, no, he must rest here for a few hours. Yes, we'll have it back about four o'clock. We'll see that Garçon gets the very best of attention. Oh, yes, madame. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Good, Good day. day. Oh. Nurse, put the dog to bed. Dr. Moe, Dr. Larry, Dr. Curley. What do you want? Two important visitors to see you. OK. Hey, that noise must have eaten catnip. <laughs> oh. One little kitten lost its mitten. How careless. Here they come now. How do you do, gentlemen? We're from the Daily Star. We'd like to get up a feature story about your hospital. That's fine. Follow us. We'd be happy to show you around the place. Hello, Clinton Head. Uh, here's our general ward. This is where we keep our mixed patients. Now, this cat suffers from operatic tendencies, like to sing opera on the back fences. Mo! Mo! I can't see! I can't see! What's the matter? I got my eyes closed. Ah! Well, lay off, lay off. You get the mm. Dr. Mo! Oh, here's an interesting case, gentlemen. What's wrong with him? He's suffering from acute alcoholism. Ain't he a cutie? <laughs> He's a lap dog. A lap dog? Yeah, he lapped up two cases of beer. A bad case. Keep a cool head, kid. Now, right this way, gentlemen. Isn't <laughs> hype. 
Now, here's a peculiar case. See that? What's GCM mean? Garbage can mooch Yeah, he's got a bad case of scavengeritis. But we'll cure him. See that? Right this way, and I shall demonstrate. It never fails. The dog puts his head inside the garbage can. We step on the valve, which propels a stream of water into the dog's face, frightening him. Now, after several such treatment, the patient is entirely cured. Now, note the simplicity of the construction. And it always oh, works. Ah! Oh, Marty! I got you. I'll tell you a esophagus out. Open your mouth. Ow! Oh, quiet. You want to wake Garson? Who's Garson? That's Mrs. Bedford's prize poodle. Calling Dr. Curly, calling Dr. Curly. Go to room six, see a man about a dog diet. <laughs> calling Dr. Larry, calling Dr. Larry. Dog in ward eight chasing his tail, bit himself. Is that serious? Will it hurt his carriage? I don't know about his carriage, but it's going to race Kane with his wagon. Calling Dr. Moe, Pomeranian in ward six has a coat on its tongue. What should we do? Give the pants and vest and take him for a walk. Pardon me. Come on, we gotta pull this job in a hurry. We'll hide him in the old house until we get the ransom. <laughs> Calling Dr. Curly! Calling Dr. Curly! What do you want? Listen, you onion head, you march yourself right in here and wash this door. Oh, you do it yourself! Oh, mutiny, eh? Yeah, mutiny. It's not on a bounty. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Now come on in here like I told you. Hey, wait a minute. What do you want? Help me out. I'm stuck. Are you sure? I'm positive. I can't move. Oh. <laughs> she loves oh. me. She loves me. Oh. She loves oh. me. She loves me. Not. Oh, I'll fix you. No. I'll fix you. <laughs> calling all curs, calling all curs. Dinner is ready. Come to the dining room. That is all. <laughs> I'm as hungry as a whale. Bring on the food. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. We're ready. Very good plan. Well, don't worry, there's enough for everybody. Take a look at this. <laughs> Say, is this my dinner? Why, certainly. Fricassee bone. It's delicious. Mm. Since when do I look like a dog? I don't know. I ain't seen you lately. You ain't, huh? Oh! Hey, leave me alone. Bedford can have her dog if she pays $2,000. Don't tell the cops or she will never see him again. Those guys weren't reporters, they were dog nappers. We gotta stall Mrs. Bedford off till we find her dog. Now start thinking, if possible. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Hey, fellas, look! It ain't so serious. Here's his collar and leash. All we gotta do is refill it. That's brilliant. That's smart. <laughs> oh! Look out. I got an idea. I wonder what he's up to. Sit down there. 
Now, here's the idea. We've got to disguise this mud to look like Garson. The old lady won't know the difference. Get to work on that mattress. Nice, get the glue. You get the black paint. <laughs> Pull them, boys. Pile it up now. Hey! Hey! What's the matter? It's got dandruff. Oh. You get to work like I told you. Ow! Go on, get busy, will you? My hair. He looks more like Garson than Garson. Nobody will ever recognize him. That mattress hair turned the trick. <laughs> We brought Mrs. Bedford's dog back. All right, but keep it away from me. I don't like dogs. Come on, come on. Just wait right in here, gentlemen. Madam will be right in. Whoa. Go away, dog. Go away. You escaped. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Hey. Here's to you. Not to me, to you. I'll murder you. Seltzer. Then I'll have some too. I know, you didn't mean it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Look. What? Why? Oh! It's ice! Oh! It's gone! Well, where is Garson? Right here. Garson. 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 Hey, Garson. Garson. Hey, Garson. Hey, Garson. 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 Yeah. Hey, Garson. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. That's not my dog. Oh. oh. Chief Fainter, get something. Do something. All right. Do something. Don't worry. Oh, I'm sorry. You fiends. You vandals. What have you done with my dog? I'm sorry, lady. We made a mistake. We broke the You get my dog door. back or I'll have the police on you. We'll bring him back. Alive. You'd better. We better get a dog back and she'll have us in jail. Come on. Hey. Mush. Mush. I tell you, the jig is up, boys. I can see us in jail. Yeah, on a rock pile, making little ones out of big ones. Listen, bloodhound. If you've got any blood in you, you'll find Garson. Now go on, do your stuff. Look, he's gonna find him. Come on. He sees him. On your toes, you heels. He's calling us. Double-crosser. Listen, if you've got any pointer in it, you better start pointing and point out those dog nappers. Get the point? Hmm. No, 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 no. He must be a point setter. Quiet, you hot air, Dale. I wonder why we haven't heard from the owner of that dog. Search me. Don't be a point setter. Stop pointing. Come on, he's on a set. <laughs> oh, oh. Get out of the way. We're looking for a dog. He had four legs and a tail. No, I ain't seen no dog. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me 
at him. I'll mop up the floor with him. has been in there a long time. Maybe she won't sell. Hope she doesn't get wise as oil on her land. Here he comes now. <laughs> the old lady was a cinch. Here's the deed, signed, sealed, and delivered. I'll take it. No, no, you don't. We'll put it right in here where we can all watch it. All right, let's hurry to Fairport and record the deed. Oh, what's the hurry? There's a lot more suckers around here who want to sell oil land cheap. Hey, look out for those men. What's the matter with you guys? Why don't you look where you're going? <laughs> Am I burnt up? Here I was dreaming of a nice portion of roast chicken and dumplings. What's that for? That's for not dreaming enough for the both of us. <laughs> Why, you... Hey, spell out, you guys. I think I see a meal. Where? Where? Oh, boy, hand fruit! <laughs> Hey, Plymouth Rock, get going. Come on. <laughs> Quiet, what's that noise for? I found an egg. Oh, give it to me. No, hey, what... you guys. Here. What are you doing in here? We're looking for you. Well, what do you want? Listen, Squire, we're hungry. Can you give us something to eat? Oh, you're hungry, huh? Well, go on over there and saw up some of that wood, and I'll give you something to eat. Come on, boys, work to do. Come on, saw that wood now. A lot of pep. Hey, get busy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Look on skill labor. You can do better, I suppose. All right, wise guy, you want to do all the work? I'll watch. Where's my hat? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh! 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 Oh, look! Look at that saw. See if it'll work. Oh, look at those teeth. Move! Move, please! Look at... Move! Move! I'll get you. No, no, don't! I'll fix Listen, it. Listen, no, please! I'll don't do it, it Mo! You... Oh. I'm sorry, Mo, I didn't mean it. It was a coincidence. If I didn't need you, I'd exterminate you. Oh. Get a hold of that saw, we gotta fix it. How? How? Oh. We'll break it in half and move the handle up to here. Oh. Bring it back now. Uh, it won't work. Oh. 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 oh! I'm dead! I'm dead! Say something. Speak to me, kid. Tell me your name so I can tell your mother. My mother knows my name. Oh, playing possum, eh? Oh! Yeah, mother. Oh. You're gonna fix that saw, you half-brother to a weasel. Listen, you. On behalf of the weasel, I resent that. Oh. Talk to your superiors like that. Come here. Cut this saw in half so it'll work. How am I gonna cut it in half? Use the little saw. Oh. Oh, 
Where'd you get the egg? Right here. Made the water while you wait. Ain't it a beaut? Well, hello, boys. How are you? How are you getting along? Well, it's pretty hard work. Oh, come on, come on. Brace up. <laughs> Hey, you! Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm sawing a saw in half with a saw, see? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you've ruined my saws. Don't get excited. You can still use it for a cheese knife. Now listen, you birds. You're gonna work till you pay for these saws. Now get over there and load that wagon. If I see you do any more damage, I'm gonna have you thrown in jail, see? Get going! Get under there and fix that door. in Fairport recording that Jenkins deed. Ah, uh, the trouble with you is you ain't got no vision, You sorry, guys would only listen to me once in a while. Damn you like that. I haven't got enough trouble. Go another step. My feet are killing me. Mine too. Boy, are my puppies yelling. Oh, mine too. Oh, oh, take it easy. Take it easy, Fido. Take it easy. What? Ruff, ruff. Gee, I wish we had a car. Wishing, always wishing. What does it get you? Nothing. You never can tell when I. Hey, fellas. Look. Can it be? Yes. Oh, boy. I got my wish. It came true. How do you like that? But I didn't wish for no Davy. Never look a gift horse in the puss. You know, I think I was born to be rich. I wish I had a cigar. Look! Are you a wishing wizard? Cigars! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> what a bouquet. Mmm, smells like a chrysanthemum. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> hey, don't look now, but I think we're about to be killed. Hey! You know, if I wasn't so weak from hunger, I'd bat your brains out if you had brains. You punch drunk, I'm hungry. Do something about it. What? Wish, slug, wish. Okay, what did you have? How about that roast chicken and dumplings? And some hot apple pie. Does it have to be hot? Why, certainly. Do you want them to catch cold? Okay. I wish I had roast chicken and dumplings and hot apple pie. You ain't trying. Consecrate. Consecrate. Mm, I am consecrating, but nothing's happening. Hey, pull over. Stop the car. What's the idea of telling them to stop? Maybe we can get a hand out here. That's a good idea. Come on.
How do you do, lady? Could you give three hungry men a bite to eat? Why, certainly. The widow Jenkins never sends hungry men away. Come in, gentlemen. Spread out. Now make yourself right at home. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, I wish she had some roast chicken and dumplings. That's exactly what I have. <laughs> And I have some lovely hot apple pie. Oh, boy, I got my wish. <laughs> the guy's haunted. <laughs> oh, this water tastes like coal oil. Isn't it awful? It's been that way ever since the pump broke. <coughs> Mrs. Jenkins, isn't there some kind of work we can do to repay you for this wonderful meal? Well, the pump does need fixing, but... Uh... Men, man the pumps. Da 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 it brings out the wood nymph in me. You know, I wish we could meet three beautiful girls so we could settle down out here. That's asking for too much. What do you want to waste wishes for? Mom, come here! Mom, stop there! Mom, mom, come here! Stop there! Stop there. Hey, fellas, look what I got for wishing! Look, we won the bathing beauty contest. And it's real imitation silver, too. Oh, darlings, that's wonderful! <laughs> Oh, gentlemen, meet my daughters, April, May, and June. Hmm, three of the prettiest months of the year. <laughs> oh, you all say the kindest thing, sir. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, are you forgetting to pump? To, to the, the pump! pump. To, the to the pump! pump. To the pump! Oh, pump! To the pump! To the pump! To the pump! 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 To the pump! Hey! To the pump! 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 To the pump! To the pump! 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 To the pump! To the pump! To the pump! 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 Oh, Mo, I didn't mean to, you know, look, look, stop it! Wait a minute. I'll murder you. You ain't got time, now you gotta fix the pump. You're lucky. <laughs> it sounds like it's got asthma. Yeah, it's dead, all right. We gotta take the top off. Come on. Wait a minute. Get that crowbar nest, Head. Right in it. He. Oh. He. Oh. Wait a minute. We'll attack it from the rear. Ready, General? It must be loose now. Out of the way till I take it off. Careful. It's stopped up. Get the crowbar, Egghead. Sounds like there's a bear down there. I'm going to get a trap. Wait a minute. How can there be a bear down there? It's barely possible. Yeah, we... Give me a match. I'll look down the pipe. Cleaned out. Get that pump and put it on. That's doing the stuff. Up she goes. Couple of turns off, boy. All right. Must be stopped up. Keep pumping.
it's worth a lot of money. Let's cork it up. Quick, go get a cork, quick. quick. We can't get a cork to fit that. You better sit on it. Swindlers. Sure, it's our car. Look, here's the Jenkins deed. It's them, the crooks. Come on! Give me that key. Hey, give me that key. Give me Hey, give me back that deed or I'll punch you in the nose, dame or no dame. Oh, hit a woman, would you? Hold this. Sure. Oh! Oh, give me that deed. All right, all right. All right, can we be friends about it? Give me a hand. Yes, yes. Oh, Boy, we got the thief. At last, we got nothing to worry about. Wait a minute. Who's driving this thing? I'm the original. I was driving. Look out! I'm sorry. Get out of the way. Oh, hey, Mr. Ooh. around so we could get married. Did I hear someone call the Justice of the Peace? Why, it's Uncle Tim, sure enough. Hey. What do you want? All you gotta do now is wish for quintuplets, and we're all set. That's a cinch. We'll honeymoon in Canada. at her own party. Uh, yes, madame. I'm sorry, madame. Where is she? 
Where is that wife of mine? I'll take it easy, Rumsford. A drink, sir? Any word for Mrs. Rumsford? Not a word, sir. I'm terribly upset. You're upset? What about me? She invites all these people to her birthday party and then runs out on them. She always does that, sir. She'll probably be back in a day or two. <laughs> day or two? Well, snap out of it, Rumsford. You must make allowances for our youth. Sherry will turn up. If I didn't love that woman so much, I swear I'd... <laughs> Ready, madam. <laughs> Listen, York, you're a doctor and you're my best friend. Isn't there anything you could do for her? I'm afraid she's a bit out of my line. The men you want are Dr. Ziller, Zeller, and Zoller. You think they can help her? Well, they're the finest psychiatrists in the business. They're terribly expensive and their methods are very peculiar. But they do get results. I'll have Williams call them. I'll have Williams call them immediately. I've got to see a patient, Rummy. I'll try to get back later. Good luck. Thanks. Well, Williams, I want you to telephone Dr. Ziller, Zeller, and Zoller. Oh, this switchboard. Oh, it's dead. Thank goodness you're through. I've been almost crazy. Yes, ma'am. I'll have my stuff out right after lunch. Looks like there's nobody here. There's the place, all right. Maybe I got the... You pudding head. Why don't you look what you're doing? I couldn't help it. I was looking around to see if there's anybody in the office. And when I turned... Look what you did. What? Oh! Why don't you be careful? Oh! Drop that ladder before you hurt somebody. Oh! Oh! Remind me to tear out your Adam's apple. I'll make a note of it. Give me that. Mm. What's the matter with you? Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, you break my pencil. I'll break your head. Oh, oh. Say, what war is this? Never mind the wisecracks, toots. We're troubleshooters from the phone company. What's wrong here? Painters ruined my switchboard. Come on. If you can bring it to life and a call comes in for the doctor, say they're out of town. I'm going to lunch. OK. Hey, bring me back a piece of burnt toast and a rotten egg. Burnt toast and a rotten egg? Yeah, I got a tape woman. That's good enough for him. Go on, get busy. Mm. Oh. How's she coming? That's a good. Say ya! Uh. What do you got here? Hey, give me that! Give me that! Oh! 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 oh. Now go on, get busy like I told you. Go on! Pull this line through and hook it on number six. I know it's out of order. I've been trying for half an hour to get it. What's the matter with you, putting heads of an acting slug naughty all day? It's Gertie. She's going to have... That's wonderful. Oh. When do you expect it? Any minute. That's why I'm so upset. No fool. And why didn't you tell us? But you see, I... I know. You're broke. Flat as a flugy. That's bad. we got to figure out a way to get some money and get it quick. Oh, thanks, Mo. You're welcome. Okay, I got... Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get to work. Ooh. Now, operator, you must get that number. Now, try again, please. Uh. Hello, operator. Is this Susquehanna 2222? 2222? What do you think you're doing, playing trains? Oh, I love to play trains. Why don't you get a toupee with some brains in it? Ah! Why, you... I want to speak to Dr. Zilla, Zella, or Zala. This is an important case. We'll pay any price if they'll come over immediately. Money is no object. We'll be there on a flash in the flesh. We need money, and I got a way to get it. What are we supposed to do? You're Zilla, you're Zella, and I'm Dr. Zala. Oh, glad to meet you, Doctor. Hi, son. Now, listen, Doc, I'm troubled with T.S. What do you mean, T.S.? Two stomachs. 
Stick out your tongue. There. Oh. Oh, there's an impatient patient waiting. Come on. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Listen. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sherry, you can't run out on your guests like this again. But, darling, I'm bored. I'm only going for a short ride in a submarine. I'll be back in a day or two. Tell them all to wait. But, Sherry... <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm Mr. Rumsford. Are you looking for someone? I'm Zilla. I'm Zella. I'm Zola. Stick out your tongue. Uh, Say ah with your mouth closed. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, rats! rats. This is serious. You're wrong, gentlemen. It's strictly a case of Rutgers and Pippick. <laughs> is it priceless? I'm not the patient. It's Mrs. Rumsford. Oh. How do you do, madam? I'll see here, Sherry. <laughs> oh, darling, you take the submarine ride. I wouldn't leave these men on a bed. Come, gentlemen. The last one in is the Republican. <laughs> Sherry! <laughs> Countess, I'm so sorry. Oh, Uncle John. No. I'll get you a drink. Gentlemen, what will I do with her? Now, let me tell you a little bit about Sherry. Oh, don't bother. I'll take scotch. Make mine rye. I'll take gin smothered in bourbon. <laughs> Boys. Gentlemen, do have some rum punch. Rum punch? Why, certainly. I knew this thing would come in handy. Will you join me? Certainly. Score. Score. This is weak. Yeah, the rum went through this punch on stilts. This scotch ought to help. This gin should make it fizzy. Bourbon and rum ought to help some. Order? No, hay fever. Oh, we... Hey, here's some new kind of liquor. Worcestershire. <laughs> this has Tabasco. I ain't never drunk any. We'll put it in. What do you got to lose? Champagne! <laughs> you shouldn't handle dangerous weapons. Give me that. I will not. Let me have it. Look! It's boiling. It must be done. A marvelous accomplishment. A prodigious achievement. You said it. It's putrid. Gentlemen, will you be good enough to look my wife over now? A pleasure. This way. The doctor's going to look you over, dear. Oh, goody. Now, uh, we shall test your reflex first. Okay, doctor. <laughs> this is the way a normal reflex should act. I beg your pardon. Oh, you don't have to apologize. You can't help if you're crazy. <laughs> Come here, guinea pig. Now then, holding the palm on a 45 degree angle. Must be off a couple of degrees. <clears throat> Trouble is, you've got no life. Oh! I made it! Pardon me. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh! Oh, I hope 
you gentlemen would like my Spanish dinner. I'm just crazy about Spanish food, especially corned beef and cabbage. Oh, isn't he funny? <laughs> What's all the fuss? I believe I dropped my serviette. Well, just keep seated. Nobody will notice it. Okay, have half of mine. Thank you. <laughs> Madame? No, thank you. Sir. Quiet. Biscuit, sir. Oh, sweetly. <laughs> Biscuit, sir. Hey, where's your Emily Post? Isn't he a scream? Mm, I just love tamales in the spring. What a funny thing. You don't know whether it's coming or going. Hmm. Speak to me so I know which is the head of the tail. Why you? I'm sorry. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Yeah, you. Why you? No, oh, don't! No! Oh. I ducked it. I could do yeah. that. Ha, 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 ha,
this is all your fault, you. Cut it out, Mo. Oh. You missed me. Uh, the teacher. Yes. Yeah, that'll teach you. Folks, this must stop. Oh. I won't still enjoying herself before she changes her mind. Believe me, I'm grateful. Will, will about 1,500 do? Oh, that's just right. Thanks.